Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now's live coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. I'm now joined by Tristan Handy, CEO at DBT Labs, along with Michael Colella, Senior Director, Data and Analytics at AXX. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to have you on the program today. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. You know, Tristan, DBT Labs is on a mission to empower data practitioners to create and disseminate organizational knowledge. As CEO, what is the data showing you and what's top of mind for your customers? So, we, this, this whole community here, mm -hmm. it's not the first time that we've all gathered together. It's not the first time that we've been doing this now. Right. Um, I started using Snowflake personally back in 2016, and I went kind of all in on it in 2018, 2019, and a lot of our customers have now been using Snowflake and DBT together for a little while too. And so we're really seeing things migrate from the like, okay, this is the honeymoon period, <laughs> this is fun and cool, to like, all right, now we got to scale this thing. Mm -hmm. And so we've been doing a lot of rolling our sleeves up and uh, making sure that we iron the bubbles out of the, the process. And, and there have been some, and that's okay. But we feel much more confident than ever that we can actually help people scale in a way that like, is, is actually uh, pretty unique in the history of data. You know, we're at Snowflake Summit to your point. The excitement and the buzz is, is all around us. You know, great to have a customer with, with AXS. You know, Michael, from your perspective as the leading ticketing platform, how does DBT Labs' partnership with the Data Cloud have a direct impact on your customer's journey? Yeah, I know, it's absolutely essential. Um, if you can think about it, we're 500 plus venues globally, uh, 65 million tickets a year, um, 30,000 events, DBT is the tool that we use to transform all of that customer data. So absolutely essential, a combination of uh, DBT Cloud and DBT Core. Um, data engineering team is using DBT Core, analytics engineering DBT Cloud, so absolutely essential for us every day. You know, I have the AXS app actually on my phone as a customer, awesome. I want to say thank Good you. Um, you know, a question for both of you, top of mind here at Summit is Gen AI and LLMs. You know, clearly having a massive impact, not only in business, but society as a whole. What role do you see this technology playing in your respective businesses? Tristan, we'd love your thoughts. This is the topic, right? How right. many times you it talked is. about that? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you knew it was going to come up. <laughs> totally. I, I love talking about it because um, I think that it is really important to distinguish between two different, uh, two different use cases for generative AI. One is, where correctness is important, but maybe not, it doesn't have to be 100% 100, 100 correct all the time. And the other one is where you actually do need 100% correctness all the time. And the world that we live in is Absolutely. you actually need to be correct all the time. And, and if, if you're not correct, it is because you can actually drill down and understand like, oh, we got this, we had a bug right here and we can fix it and next time it will be correct. And that's actually just not how generative AI works. Um, we, what, what we are excited about is the ability to, on one end of the stack, ask and answer questions that are in natural language and on top of governed data. And then on the other end, the ability to actually write code a hell of a lot faster so that what took you, you know, an hour before now takes yeah. you five minutes, but still, the, this has to all be done in a governed way that like, you can actually assert is correct. You know, I'm, what, from my perspective, Gen AI and LLMs really opens up the data category to non-technical individuals. You know, would love your perspective, specifically from the ticketing side, because a lot of your customers likely aren't data, you know, data focused or data driven. What are you saying? Yeah, no, I think that's spot on. Um, really, I, I see Gen AI and LLMs just being able to transform a business because it now opens up the more technical things to more of the business user. Right. Uh, we see that all the time across our org. We have people with different levels of technical proficiency. Um, we've been experimenting with integrating, uh, you know, generative of AI, GPT into our processes, customer service, uh, fraud detection, you know, any security implications as well. So it really, I think it's, it's an absolute game changer and we'll continue to increase the efficiency and then also open it up to like those non-technical users. You know, gentlemen, really enjoyed our conversation. In my seat, I love the opportunity to, to pick the brains of, of, of founders. You know, Tristan, from your perspective, you're able to see really these 
kind of tectonic shifts before society can. You know, when you look out on the horizon, what's next in the world of data collaboration? I think, so I wrote a blog post back in 20, late, late 2019. Mm -hmm. It said we were going to be in for a Cambrian explosion of data technology. And we saw that. The, oh my gosh, the amount of venture investment, the amount of innovation that's been happening in this space. I, I think that one of the things that has been challenging in that period is that it creates a lot of complexity for people trying to use this technology. How, what, what things do I need? How do I plug them all together? Um, I think that the goal should be that the data ecosystem works more and more like the Apple ecosystem, where it just kind of all works and you don't really think that hard about how the underlying data is flowing and Ease of use. Ease of, ease of use. It, it, like, we should be thinking about solving business problems and not solving data transport problems or similar. Um, so I, I am very excited to push harder and harder in that direction. Well, gentlemen, looking forward to seeing it play out in the not too distant future. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Thank you. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. Thank you so much for tuning in to Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.